most important thing that I always tell my patients is that for colonoscopy, the preparation is one of the most uh, important. So the patient needs to at least do a three days preparation. Uh, actually, eating fiber is really good for your colon, but it's not good when you're about to go for colonoscopy. So usually we have to ask the patient to stop eating fiber. So no fruit, no vegetable, no grains for two to, two to three days. And then you have to come to the hospital with empty stomach in the morning. Usually right now we do what we call the morning preparation. It means that after you come with empty stomach, you're going to start to drink the spe special uh, drinking uh, water, which is actually is a laxative. This is a non-absorbable water. You have to drink two liters, and then this is going to flush everything out within a few hours. So you're going to drink two hours, and then maybe go to the restroom a few hours to make the colon pretty clean. And just that, then you can go for the procedure. We, uh, recommend the patient to be sleeping because your colon is about 1.5 to 1.6 meter in length. We have to put the scope in for the whole length of the colon. Actually, it's not painful, but it's not comfortable. So if you get some kind of um, painkiller or sedative medicine to make you sleep well during the procedure, uh, the patient will be comfortable. And at the same time, it's going to be good for the doctor who performed the procedure because if you had some kind of discomfort, maybe the doctor has to do a little bit rush and then maybe we can miss something. So uh, sedation is strongly recommended. It's the sedation, it's not general anesthesia. Yeah, it's just that in intravenous sedation, so you will get some kind of injection and in a few minutes, the, the patient mostly going to be sleeping. And after we stop the procedure, the patient's going to be wake up within about half an hour to one hour. But we need about one to two hours recovery just to make sure that everything's okay. This is one thing that I always tell the patient because many patients are going to be quite panicked before the procedure. Sometimes they, they just don't come because they're afraid of the procedure or maybe they're afraid of, what, of the findings, what's going to be. Uh, but most of the time, if the patient go for sedation and they sleep very well, most of the time they're going to say, oh, in that case, I just come earlier.